bearings in surveying can be designated by two methods. They are 1. Whole Circle Bearing System, WCB, or Azimuthal System. 2. Quadrantal Bearing System, QCB, or Reduced Bearing System. Before proceeding with this video, it is important to have a clear understanding of the terms meridians, true north, and magnetic north. We recommend watching our previous videos on magnetic meridians and bearings to fully grasp the concepts discussed in this video. Let's check each type in detail. 1. Whole Circle Bearing System, WCB A whole circle bearing system involves measuring the angles from the true north or the magnetic north in the clockwise direction. The bearing or angle measured from the WCB system is called the azimuth. As shown in the figure, we need to determine the azimuth of the line OA and OB. The azimuth of the line is measured from the north, giving a value of 60 degrees and that of OB is 220 degrees. Hence, WCB value varies between 0 and 360 degrees. A prismatic compass that is used for compass surveying gives horizontal angles based on the WCB system. In plane surveying, the azimuths are measured from the north. While the National Geodetic Survey of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, formerly the United States Coast and Geodetic Survey, always uses the south as the zero direction. 2. Quadrantal Bearing System, QB, or Reduced Bearing System the quadrantal bearing system measures angles eastwards or westwards from the north or south direction, whichever is nearer. For this, the QB system divides bearings into quadrants, north, east, south, and west. The obtained QB is called a reduced bearing and is expressed by mentioning the meridian, angle, and quadrant. In the figure, there are four quadrants, one, two, three, four. The line OA is present in the first quadrant, and the nearest meridian to this line is north. Hence, the bearing is measured from end north in the clockwise direction that is eastwards, which is alpha equals 30 degrees. This is represented as N alpha E. Similarly, the line OB is in the second quadrant, whose nearest meridian is south. Then the angle is measured from south to line OB in the anti-clockwise direction eastwards that IS beta equals 50 degree, which is represented as south beta east. To summarize, as shown in the figure, the azimuth of the line OA as per WCB is 150 degrees. But the RB value as per QB system is 30 degrees designated as S30E, as in south 30 degrees east. Now let's learn the conversions of bearings from one system to the other. The bearings of a line can be available either in WCB or QB system. Based on convenience for calculations, one system can be converted to another by either drawing the directions or by following the simple rules as given in the table. This table shows how the WCB of a line can be converted to a corresponding reduced bearing or QB system. The corresponding RB value and the quadrant in which it falls are provided in the table. Similarly, this is the rule for converting an RB value of a line to a WCB system. The complete notes for this unit are provided in our website and the link is provided in the description below. Let's understand the concept in detail with a few example problems and calculations. Before tackling more complex problems, it's important to remember that bearing angles, whether in whole circle bearing or reduced bearing, can be expressed in degrees, minutes, and seconds. To perform arithmetic calculations involving bearings, it is essential to convert all angles to a single unit, typically degrees. This ensures consistent calculations unless you have access to a specialized arithmetic calculator capable of handling angles in their original format. 
Keep in mind that 1 degree equals 60 minute equals 3,600 seconds. To convert minutes to degrees, divide the minutes by 60. To convert the seconds to degrees, divide the seconds by 3,600. Now let's practice a few problems. 1. Convert the following whole circle bearing to quadrantal bearing. 22 degrees 30 minutes. Solution 1. WCB equals 22 degrees 30 minutes. You can check the conversion table, which tells if the WCB value is between 0 and 90 degrees, then the reduced bearing value is the same. I will also explain this by depicting the angles. If we depict this in quadrants, it lies in the first quadrant. Now, if we try to find the reduced bearing of this line OA, we can see that the reference meridian will be n and measured in the eastwards direction. Hence, the bearing value of the line OA in the quadrantal system will be the same but designated as north 22 degrees 30 minutes east. Solution 2. WCB equals 211 degrees 54 minutes. You can check the conversion table. The WCB values lie between 180 and 270 degrees. The conversion is RB equals RB equals WCB minus 180 degrees in southwest direction. Hence, RB equals 211 degrees 54 minutes minus 180 degrees. 54 minutes means 54 slash 60 degrees equals 0 0.9 degrees. Then RB equals 211 plus 0 0.9 minus 180 is equal to 211.9 minus 180 is equal to 31.90. 0. 0. 0.9 is multiplied by 60 to convert to minutes is equal to 0. 0.9 times 60 that is equal to 54 minutes. Hence, the quadrantal value of 211 degrees 54 minutes is south 31 degrees 54 minutes. If we draw in the quadrant, the given WCB is measured from north, which makes the line OA fall in the third quadrant SW. From figure, in quadrantal system, the bearing is measured from nearest reference meridian of the line, which in this case is south. The reduced bearing that needs to be determined is alpha, which is 211 degrees 54 minutes minus 180 degrees. The calculations are the same as explained before. Hence, the quadrantal bearing is south 31 degrees 54 minutes west. If you are unable to memorize the conversion table, you can draw the given data and find the solution from the simple circle rule. 2. Convert the following quadrantal bearing south 31 degrees 54 minutes west to whole circle bearing. Solution. QB equals 31 degrees 54 minutes. From the table, the value lies in the SW quadrant, hence the formula is WCB equals 180 plus RB, which is equal to 180 plus 31 degrees 54 minutes, which gives 211 degrees 54 minutes. If you draw the given QB value, it lies on the third quadrant as shown. The WCB value of the line must be determined that is measured from the north. From the figure, the unknown angle will be 180 plus reduced bearing value. In this case, we get 211 degrees and 54 minutes as shown. Hence, the whole circle bearing value of 31 degrees 54 minutes is 211 degrees and 54 minutes. I hope you have grasped the concept of the whole circle and quadrantal bearing system. Continue practicing more problems as this forms the foundation for calculating forebearings, back bearings, and included angles in the majority of surveying calculations. For more in-depth civil engineering videos and information, kindly subscribe to our channel, Civil Engineering Fanatics.